There are some dangers of being a YouTuber. We're gonna talk about what those are, and we're gonna talk about how you can protect yourself. And we're starting right now. This is how it is. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so I experienced something recently that to be honest with you, it made me a little bit uncomfortable. I won't go into the full details, but in a nutshell, basically I had somebody keep trying to contact me over and over and over again. They finally got through and the whole thing was completely uncomfortable and inappropriate. Because of that, I wanted to put this video together just in case you have to deal with something similar. And I'm also gonna tell you how to protect yourself so as your influence grows here on YouTube, on social media in general, you can have a few things in place that you might be overlooking right now so that you might not have to deal with something like this in the future. And if you are already dealing with stuff like this, let me know any additional tips that you have down in the comments below. Number one is you can use an alias. If you have a username of any kind, use that name and never ever under any circumstance say your real name. If you're trying to build a personal brand or you're trying to do something professionally and you have to use your real name, well, you might end up getting some of these people because the actual limits that you can create around that are gonna be a lot less, but some of these other tips I'm gonna tell you here in a minute are also gonna help you protect you a little bit more than you may be right now. Number two, if you have a website that is something that you reference a lot in your YouTube videos or something that is directly connected to your YouTube channel, like it's your, your username or something like that, then it's a really good idea to use something called Who Is Guard Protection on your domain name. Who is Guard Protection protects your phone number, it protects your address, and it protects your real name from the outside world. If you are not using Who is Protection, on the other hand, your phone number is displayed, your address is displayed, or your company address, depending on what it is that you're doing on YouTube, and your real name or your company name is displayed. In that case, if you do get somebody that you know can't take no for an answer, then they're gonna have all of this information to where they can send you stuff, they can you know call you on the phone, or they can hunt you down by your real name or whatever the situation is. So make sure if you want to, you know, keep everything private and separated, make sure that you're using a who is guard on your URL. Number three, once you start getting some fans, because having fans is awesome, but once you start getting some fans and you think, you know what, some people are actually not respecting boundaries as much as I would like them to. At that moment, it's time to go through your Facebook profile and start locking everything down so that people don't have, you know, more importantly than you, so that people don't have access to your friends, so people don't have access to your family, and so people can't see what it is that you're doing all the time that you don't want them to see. Think about that for a second. Now, let's say that you have somebody that doesn't respect boundaries and you have to block them for some reason, but they've already got, you know, your friends and your family and all that stuff bookmarked, and then they go and they start harassing them, trying to get to you or trying to irritate you or something like that. That is why it's important to start locking that stuff down when you get the chance to, when you think, you know what, hey, I'm starting to get some people that aren't respecting my boundaries anymore. So it's, it's, it's due time that I start locking some of this stuff down. Number four, on your social media apps and all of the apps that you're using on your phone, make sure that you have your location access turned off when you can. The reason for this is let's say that you go to another state and you're just going there to visit a friend or something like that. And then you have some fans that are trying to hit you up and they get offended because you're not gonna meet up with them or something like that, or you know, whatever. I'm just talking worst case scenarios here. But in reality, things like that do happen. So it's just good to be mindful of this stuff. Number five, on your YouTube channel, make sure that on your about me page, on your business inquiry email, make sure that you set up an email account that is specific just for that. And I would even use that across all of your social media outlets so that if anybody tries to contact you, like that's a catch-all for that. And then you can keep your personal stuff separate from what's going on with your YouTube channel because as everything grows and more people are trying to contact you, it just makes everything a little bit more manageable. Again, I wanna make it clear that I'm not trying to fear monger in any way, shape or form. I just had that and a couple of other things that have happened to me via email um, that have kind of brought this whole thing to my attention. So I wanted to make sure that I had this discussion with you. I have another video that's not as scary about other things that all YouTubers need to know. If you haven't watched that yet, you can check it out in the card up here. And if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.